Hey Taurus, I'm back y'all. I got another video for y'all. This is going to be a weekly from December the 1st through the 7th. How are y'all? I hope everyone is doing well. I hope all y'all are doing well. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Go ahead and click the subscribe button. We would love to have you here. Um, so many new things that are coming for 2021. You don't want to miss out. So go ahead and click the subscribe button as well as the bell so you won't miss out on future videos, okay? All right, so if you are um, looking to book a personal reading, guys, if you're new, um, if you're a new customer, a new client, um, I am doing a reading specials, $25 uh, for your first, you know, your introductory rate. So your first reading will be $25. Of course, my readings really do... My readings are normally $60 and up. Okay, so this is actually a steal, guys. Um, and as well, guys, you can check out the website to get your spiritual gear. We got the Hamsa Evil Eye Bracelet Protection Bracelets. Like, we got, like, four different ones. We have sage bundles. We have manifestation oils, ritual oils that are handmade by me. All of those items, guys, you can check out on the website. All of that information is going to be in the drop box below, Okay. Taurus, I got two cards here already. I got two cards here. Okay. All right, so we got the Knight of Air and the Emperor right behind that. Okay, let's talk. The Knight of Air. I feel like you feel... As I feel like some of you felt like controlled or you want to be more in control. I feel like this, this is the thing, like you want to be more in control. I feel like with the night of air, this is very childlike energy, very young type energy. And this is kind of like, you know... This is very, the Knight of Swords energy gives me kind of like impulsive energy. Um, I'm not sure if you're trying to rush something or you feel rushed, but we got the Emperor here. The Emperor is Aries' it's energy, but this is about being in control, taking responsibility. This is, a, this is also the Father card. This is also the mature card. So we got like really young energy and then we got really mature energy. Okay. Someone's father could be involved. Uh, someone older. And then we got that chariot here. So this is progression. And the night of air is also things moving rapidly. So things could be getting ready to rapidly increase or move forward. Okay. We got the nine of earth. So you're feeling very like you're enjoying your life. Okay. You're spending your quiet time. You're, you're feeling successful. Some of you are self-employed. Okay. But then we got the world here. A job well done. Joy, contentment, gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. This is also wrapping up chapters. Some of you may have been seeing the number 999. Okay. Then we got that three of water. A celebration, okay? So it looks like some of you are coming together. You're coming together on something. Maybe there's a get-together, a celebration, a wedding, a, a baby shower, something to that nature. This is interesting. Very interesting energy for this week. Okay, why? Let's get a few clarifiers and let's see what's what. nine of earth yeah see some of you have been working on yourself or working i'm, I'm just getting like you're working on your self-worth you're 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 working on yourself some of you are just literally just working working at work building something possibly some of you are running a business some of you are overdoing overworking let me put that out there some of y'all are overworking yourself okay we got the devil here this is an overindulgence okay um could be a capricorn 
or someone here is um I'm getting the eight of cups. This is Pisces energy too. Some you guys may be wanting to leave, uh, walk away from from a job because you feel over. Uh, yeah, there's that nine of pentacles again. Some of you want to leave a job and go into business for yourself. I feel like there's something you you have faith. in that could happen but you're still uncertain and you don't want to be left out in the cold you don't want to make a, a really bad decision and you're not sure if it's going to be worth it so you're going to wait you're going to wait something out you're waiting something out but i feel like some of y'all are contemplating like walking away from um a job to start your own business some of you are you know being overworked you're over you're overdoing it okay you're overdoing it. Yes, um, you know, the money may be good. The materials and all that are good. You're able to do this and that. But some of you are like, uh, <laughs> you know, this is a lot. But nonetheless, I see you guys looking real good. We got the nine of pentacles here twice. Some of y'all are watching somebody's story on Facebook or watching somebody's Snapchat. Um, somebody's thinking that somebody could be cheating. We got the Queen of Wands here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, female. Um, somebody's here looking back with regrets, telling somebody something. But nonetheless, you may feel like somebody's trying to hold you back, but you're going to continue to move forward. You are doing some healing as well. We got the Three of Swords and the Temperance. You guys are definitely, like, I'm getting like you guys are praying, you're meditating. Um, some of you are, um, you know, are trying to heal a broken heart or trying to get over some pain. Or something I'm getting like you guys are progressing okay you're trying to progress you you've been watching someone okay you've been keeping your eye on someone maybe like are you guys are watching some celebrity or watching some um, pastor or spiritual guru or something and you're gaining some type of knowledge um, but someone here has some type of issue with with a relationship or there's issues that need to be balanced out Okay, you're contemplating cutting someone off or cutting off certain things. And then somebody's been giving somebody tough love. I'm seeing that as well, too. The King of Swords and the Lovers. Somebody's been giving somebody tough love. We got the Four of Wands and the King of Cups. I'm getting husband vibes. Okay, someone here could be married. Or someone here, really, you know, you there's someone here that you really care about. You may want to marry this person. You may want to be in something stable and long-term with this person. Um, but I feel like you want a new start. You want a new beginning. Okay, you want to start fresh. You want to start something fresh. I'm getting very alone vibes. Some of y'all are soul searching and meditating and thinking a lot. Okay. We got the King of Pentacles, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn, and the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Some of you are coming together with family. Okay. This is a marriage, possibly reconciling in the marriage. Um, after a period of alone time, solitude. Getting your money together. Yeah, you're really tired. You're tired of, of the past. Something about the past. Someone keeps bringing up the past. Talking about the kids could be involved. Children could be involved. You're waiting for somebody to... Uh, you're waiting for something to end. Possibly. We got the emperor here. This is about someone's father or someone take, you're waiting for somebody to take responsibility. But I don't think that this person is ready to take responsibility. We got the moon, okay, and the empress. Something here happened that was in, happened in the dark. 
something happened that was supposed to be kept a secret. There could be a, a secret pregnancy. There could be a secret person. This is the mother energy. I see mother and father energy here as well. Aunt, sister. But something here could have been kept a secret, okay? And you're very disappointed about it, okay? Okay, this is King of Cups. Again, the King of Cups keeps revealing itself. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or this. Somebody here is uh, bringing up the past about how they feel, okay? And it's starting this whole thing of worry and anxiety for you. Possibly making you, you know, you're up thinking about this all the time. You're thinking about what you could say or how you could possibly fix this. But somebody is like constantly bringing up the past. Okay. Yeah, see, Ace of Swords and the Page of Pentacles, you want to have a, you know, a open heart to heart conversation with this possibly with this King of Cups or this King of Pentacles. I'm getting Capricorn or even a Virgo here. King of Wands, Queen of Wands revealed herself as well too. Okay, but I'm getting like an honest conversation. Yeah, here's the Queen of Wands again. Okay, someone here needs to have an open discussion, a conversation about the past. Yep, about a healing. There needs, I'm getting like there's possibly like a, a therapy session here. I'm getting a Sagittarius could definitely be involved. I'm getting like someone talking about some house rules. Um, or how to balance out the home. Yeah, because you're ready to close this chapter. There's been some bickering, some disagreements that's been going on. And that's the same card here as the world. You're ready to close this chapter. You're ready. This chapter, you want this chapter to close. And you've been trying your best. Like, you, you, you're you, giving this thing all you got. You've been giving this thing all you got. But there's still some lingering issues here. Somebody lied and was being sneaky. The King of Wands and the Seven of Swords, very, um, and then the Nine of Wands. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Yeah, I'm getting very, yeah, somebody felt rejected or left out in the cold. Or done very wrong here. Yeah, somebody, somebody here felt very alone, or I'm not sure if it's you guys, but somebody here feels abandoned, alone. Uh, Someone here is dealing with depression. I'm seeing that as well, too. Uh, the Knight of Swords and the Emperor. It could have definitely have something to do like with the father or um, an older person, an uncle, or um, I'm getting father-son type energy as well, too. Um, Why is the four of cups here? Yeah. Somebody made a bad decision here. I feel like now you could be looking at a situation like, damn, I really messed up here. Somebody may feel as if all you do is work. You know? There's something that happened. Somebody is looking for the courage or the fight to stop to stop this, to stop something that was happening. But it didn't go in somebody's favor here. 
And I feel like you got some shocking news. And you wish that you would have been there for something. And you're having regrets. Okay. Now we got the five of cups. But I feel like you want to talk about this. I feel like you want. I'm getting like some of y'all may, may be going through. Um, I want to say like a healing session. Uh, intervention or. I feel like something happened in the past that you're you're looking back over that's now being brought to the forefront. Someone keeps bringing this up. Keeps bringing this up. Somebody's giving somebody tough love. Now you're seeing how something affected somebody. I'm hearing tough love. Tough I mean just keep hearing tough love. Somebody may need to talk to a healer. Somebody here may need to talk to a therapist. Yeah, and I'm getting like somebody doesn't want to talk about it. Somebody doesn't want to talk about it. Three of water. See, this is all, this is the three of water is coming together. Yeah. There's definitely some conflict going on, some issues here that needs to be brought. The, the people involved in this situation need to be brought together, okay? Because we got the two of cups here. This is coming together. There's definitely something here that needs to be, yeah, see what I said? The five of swords, okay? This is spite. Someone is still bitter, upset about something, Okay? And I'm hearing, like, we're going to talk about it. We'll talk about it. We need to talk about it later. Six of Swords. But I don't feel like this should wait. And there we go again with that Three of Cups. Okay? And Six of Pentacles. Yeah. The thing of it is, is trying to get together, come together to kind of, like, hash these issues out. Yeah, but see, we got the Ten of Swords and the Page of Swords. Somebody does not want to talk about it. Somebody here does not want to talk about it. Somebody is not willing to talk about it. And it, like I said, this could be an older person. We got the emperor. The emperor keeps bringing, keeps coming out. Okay. Somebody doesn't want to bring this up. Somebody waiting until somebody has the courage to talk about it. Seven of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and the Strength card. Somebody does not have the courage to bring this up and see there's an apology. Maybe you want somebody to apologize. We got the nine of cups, the three of swords, the knight of cups, and the ace of swords. You want an apology from this person. And you feel like this is the chance for an apology. Either you want to apologize to this person or you feel like they need to apologize. But I feel like you don't want to miss this opportunity. And you'll regret it later if you do. See, the two of wands, you'll regret it later if you don't work this out now. You want to give closure to this situation. You want to give closure to the situation. And like I said, someone's mother could be involved. I'm getting mother, father as well too. Some of you could be dealing with your mother and your father. Some of you could be dealing with a baby mother, a baby father. Whatever the case is, okay, I feel like you really do love, there's love here, okay? But there's something here. King of Swords. The truth needs to be brought to, needs to be brought up. Uh, things need to be hashed out. You need to get to the root of things, the core of things. Somebody's been holding, holding this in, okay? 
and somebody's like lashed out. They've been holding it in for so long, like it's just a lash out now. Okay. There's, there's something here. There's something here that needs to be fixed and healed. Yeah, something here about who someone is uh dealing with isn't someone's concern who someone is courting should not be the concern someone here is stuck someone here is trapped um somebody here from a from a fake person here somebody here is fake somebody here is hiding hiding the fact that they're a liar or a thief or something here courthouse someone could have went to jail over this situation imprisonment and courthouse mature woman like i said this someone's mother or grandmother or aunt someone older could be involved and they're concerned okay we got the main male a male could be involved in this situation um, and someone is distant, like someone doesn't come over to the house or someone, I'm getting like we got pathway in house or someone is coming over. Um, and then we got someone's marriage. Okay, so something about a main female and their marriage does not need to be a concern. Someone could have went to prison or jail someone's mother or grandmother or something to that nature could be concerned and it could be like for some it's like a son or nephew or something like that then we got a marriage here and a main female here journey okay then we got judification so someone's being judged for something that they did someone's being judged for something that they did along this journey someone's being judged i don't know why i'm getting so many deep readings today like literally every reading has been like what what like jaw dropping but taurus i'm getting like you guys are really seriously like needing to have like um a sit down a reevaluation a thought out you know something very well thought out for some you may need to talk to like a therapist or you need to speak to a spiritual advisor or you need to speak to a pastor whatever the case may be but I'm feeling like there's definitely like some unresolved issues here that need to definitely be worked out. And they can be worked out if, as long as everybody is willing to come together. Okay, I did want to use... Okay, let's see what we get from the angel. Let's see what the angels have to say. Okay, Taurus. Give me a message for Taurus. What advice do you have for Taurus? Improving health. Improving health. See, at the bottom here, we got peaceful resolution. There has to be some type of resolution, okay? 
someone here could be sick. Someone here could be dealing with depression. Like, I, I picked that energy up as well, too. Like, someone could be, like, really sad. They get sad sometimes or something into that nature. There needs to be some type of peaceful resolution here, okay? We got within the uh, next few months, and we also have in the near future, okay? So... Let's see. Get more information. So there's more that's, that's to the story, okay? Uh, med meditation brings answers, okay? Once you get this information, you're going to have to... It's possibly going to make you think and make you feel like, you know, you know, let me sit back on this, let me see. But there may be some things that may not be all the way out on the table. Not the right time not the right time so somebody might not be ready okay because we got recovery it's going to take some time this whatever this is it's going to take some time to heal like something here was uh ruined something here was kind of like sabotaged and i feel like you're trying to pick up the broken pieces and and piece the things back together um, but I'm not sure if everybody's going to be on board. I'm not sure that everybody's going to be on board. I'm not sure. Okay. Let's see what we can get from here. What does this person want to say to Taurus? I'm ignoring other people. My higher self is trying to reach you. I'm sorry for blocking you. I was triggered. I'm going through an awakening. I can't let go of the past. So for one, this person could be ignoring you or they're trying to ignore the other person or someone else in this situation. They're trying to operate from, the, from their higher self um, like trying to reach out to you, um, their higher self is trying to reach out to you. Um, they're trying not to come from a place of, you know, their lower self, whether everything is ego based or whatever. They're trying to come from, come to you in a place from a higher viewpoint. Um, they may have blocked you. They may have blocked you physically. They may have just shut you out and it was because they were triggered and they are going through an awakening. And it's because of something that they cannot let go of. Okay, there's something that happened here in the past that they just aren't ready to move forward on, move forward from, or they're having a hard time moving forward from. Okay. All right, so you guys got to let me know what's going on in the comment section below. All right, I'm going to chat with y'all later. All right, if you want to book a personal reading, the information is below. And check out my website, guys. Lots of goodies over there as well, okay? Ciao for now. Love you guys.